barely fit here. Hi everyone, we are doing a happy marriage, happy couple, in a good mood. Because we're too cheap for therapy. I'm doing the intro. Okay. Hi everyone, we are doing a happy couple, happy marriage Q&A from my Instagram and my twit no, my Twitter. So make sure you follow my Twitter. Um, 30. We are going to be eating lots of leftovers in honor of me always making him eat my leftovers. It's true. I, I, I always eat your leftovers. I'm not allowed to eat normal food. Yes, you are. You binge. No, you tell me. If you're going to go out and no. buy junk, you better film it. If you're going to raise your voice at me, we're not doing this together. No, you're, you're no, admit it. You, you literally eat, say that. Admit it. You have an eating disorder. Of course I have an eating disorder. Exactly. We all know that. Thank I always you. say that. Shout out to it. Coldest Water Bottle for sponsoring today's video. And um, if you want one for free, click the link down below. Okay, so here's your cheeseburger. Thank you. You dropped my lettuce. He dropped my lettuce. You're being annoying already. Um, we are just going to eat and be happy and try to answer these questions. This has all been refried. Listen. Yummy. Mmm. Mm-hmm. I'm allowed to eat now? Mm-hmm. Okay, thank you. Look at the item command. Yeah, show them your food for this one here. And I also have some um, French fries. These are left over from Culver's. They're, have you tried these? Huh? They're very good. And we have ooh, this amazing sauce down here. They are good. Which is left over from Cheesecake Factory, which we loved. Mm -hmm. You want to try it like this? Mmm. Mmm. Mm. This sauce here is so good. Okay, let's see what you guys want to know. Actually, I'm, give me five minutes, not even. For what? To eat, because I'm hungry. You're hungry? Get my blood sugar back. You literally just did a mukbang like an hour ago. It's called hypoglycemia. No, that's just an excuse. That's called disordered eating. No, you know. I barely ate in the video. See, I'm You so have like 5,000 calories in a sitting. Presented in front of me, I didn't actually consume it. Oh no, you ate all of it. Uh uh. You turned off the camera and you sat down on the couch, got it full of crumbs, and you started eating on the couch and got it full of crumbs. Like, you just. That was the other day, that was not today. No, that was literally today. Today I, I did. I just cleaned it. Why are you lying? Today I did. Um, oh, you can't even think of it. <laughs> Stop! Today I did Burger King. <laughs> and you guys saw, I had how many sandwiches? Three? Four? How many mm. are left here? Two. How many calories in a sandwich? 630. I looked it up. How many is that times three? I have four. How many is that times four? Hey Siri, what is 630 times four? Hey Siri! Are you gonna eat or just watch me? I mean, I'm eating through you. Eat! I just kept thinking about that time when you cheated on me 12 times when you were on your little vacation visa run. Why do you feel the need to bring that up right now? That was like five, four years ago. Seeing the ranch made me remember what I was oozing out of my privates when I got that. You're disgusting. You're just, I hope, I'm so sorry. I hope you're not eating with us. Um, you're disgusting. Do you remember what one of your repeat hookups told you to do? And he did on you? Oh. With his little water sport? <laughs> do you remember that? So funny. Yes, I remember. You remember it so well, and Today you liked I'm it so much, and you did it delicious twice in a row. Burger. Twice in a row, in your bathroom, and in his bathroom. No, no, it was his, it was not mine. I don't have a bathroom. I was traveling. And you're, he told me he went to your room, in your Airbnb. No. <laughs> what? You lied to me. <laughs> you're so gross. So you went to his place twice in a row? You, act, you think he went to mine? Yeah. I never thought of that. I thought you did. I thought you liked it and then you went to his. 
No, I said. So you walked to his place twice. Well, what were I gonna do? You were in Colombia, and I knew I was being faithful, and I was getting sick because he kept cheating on me, <laughs> and I ended up going to the hospital. You're making me look really bad right now. This video. They already know this. We made a video talking about this. Well, they thought it was an April Fool's joke. No, it wasn't. It was real. Um, April Fool. There was literally. A 70 year old doctor that had to go into my house and I had to strip for the doctor and he had to look at all this stuff oozing out. I'm eating! No, and it gets better. He. He made me go get tested for the HIV. You know? The H. They know. Okay. It doesn't matter. I got. He, Why are you bringing this so, up? We're supposed to be doing a QA. Because he's so afraid of doctors, he forced me to go. And I was a vegan, so you know. Way when to destroy you, my when my you do those. Oh, you don't have one of those. So I was getting, like, as a vegan, you know, whenever you get a blood test, you you feel very bad because you're, you know, very weak from your diet. So I had to go get that. I had to go up a giant hill to a clinic, and then a really old, old, old lady went and checked my blood, and she she tested. I'm me. trying to eat. Shout out, Coach. <laughs> Orlin, why are you talking about this? First of all, and you're so selfish that you don't, you don't, you didn't even get the test for yourself. Because I get all like blood, and you're too cheap to get the instant test kit. No, I don't got it. No, you no, we do. The one where you blow in it or spit in it or whatever it was like eighty dollars. Yes, I did. You got it. We were together. I don't remember. I guess we did. Maybe. I mean, I cooked this for you. Eat them. You didn't cook anything. You just put it in a microwave. That's cooking. I know. That's for a me. Lot, that's a lot of work for you. That's honestly the most you do in your day. Yeah. He cheated on me with a doctor. And then he told me that the doctor was so smelly that he almost passed out from the smells. You remember? They all know. I told that story with Trailer Trash Tammy. I got Why cheated on. This up? He cheated on me. A skinny twink with a smelly doctor. What does what what smelly have to do with it? Or like, what? I was. <clears throat> how am I supposed to feel? I was supposed to unsure feel? if we were supposed to be together. I was also. I was uh, also. I get a d myself for how many months and months and months. We had to be separate for like five months. So was I. I wasn't getting 60 year old smelly doctors going. Well, I, I told you I didn't like it. And I didn't go back. We didn't even do anything because I couldn't get it up for him. You told me you ate him out. No, I didn't. That's not true. Then how else would you smell him? Because he went on the bed and spread it open. And what did you do when he spread it open? I was like, oh, and I touched it, but then I sat down. No, no you ate it out. No, I didn't. You're not just going to walk out. That's rude. You ate it out. I just walk out. Yeah, you ate it out. No, I didn't. Or that I'm eating. This is disgusting. I know, you're disgusting. Like, the things you've done to me. Way to just ruin my reputation. How about in Thailand? Why are Oh, you... how about that threesome we had? That was literally my I'm first the, experience I'm, that. I'm the punching bag today. And no, that's and a then, lie because... And the he, was a police, he was a policeman. <laughs> And we went into his car, and then I was just like licking his sack. Okay, that and he was, was literally <laughs> oozing out. There, he was oozing out smelly liquid. So he probably remember we got really sick after that. <laughs> so that was probably our first time getting. G we did not get sick. Yeah, we did. Remember how he was oozing? <laughs> this is so delicious. And then, and then he made out with me, and he stick his he put this his tongue so, so deep into delicious. my throat. <laughs> I could feel it in my brain. He put it so deep. And then you kept kissing. You were so into it. You were into it. Meanwhile, I'm just licking out. First of all, demonetized. You're gonna. I'm gonna put out. this on my third channel now. You're gonna bleep it out. I'm just putting this on my third channel. You're gonna have to bleep everything out because I'm being honest here. We got gone from a policeman. In his car. And then I was so mad at him that I decided, I was like, 
If you don't love me, if you don't, I if you don't, him. if we don't go back to you monogamous, I'm gonna cheat on you. No, and he's nothing. like, you wouldn't dare do that to me. <laughs> You're never gonna no. find someone as attractive as me. I'm like, well, just wait and see. And I walked out. I'm back home. you You done? Yeah, I was just gonna tell him about the Mexicans I hooked up with. Because you, you said I wasn't. He's like, he's like, you're not attractive enough. You're not gonna get anyone. Remember? And then I walked down like, I'll prove you wrong. And I immediately got somebody like in a flash on Grinder, and I hooked up with them. And you were so mad when I got home. I'm not doing this right now. I don't even know why you're talking about any of this. I don't know. Something I think about often because I'm kind of PTSD. Do you still hold this all against me five years later? Of course. Because he kept cheating. But ever since I apologized and you expressed to me that you were upset about it, I didn't think you'd be upset by it. I don't know. I was literally paying for everything Blech. when we were in Excuse Colombia. Me. When we first moved there, I was your sugar daddy. And... Okay, you they're still... going to that the wrong way if you say sugar daddy. He was not loaded. In Colombia, $10, is, $10 means you're loaded. I had more than you. You had nothing. Okay, um, but don't say sugar... People are probably going to imagine you're like millions or something. No, I was literally working like $200, for him. I got like $200. I was working for him, for my hus beautiful husband, and I would come home and see him on Grindr, trying to arrange the next hookup. He wanted to cheat on me with the f the, the f instructor at the gym. That I was paying for, the membership. I'm losing my appetite. No, you're still eating just fine. <laughs> that burger's basically gone. And also because of you, I did chew that. I just went down. <laughs> yeah, you swallow everything else but me. That's not true, and you know that. Well, it's true. No, it's not. I don't like it. Do you actually still hold things against me from that? Of course. Even though I apologized. I never did that again. I never have. Let's just do the Q&A. No. If you're going to make faces and make it seem like I have, you better support that with some evidence. I have never done that again. Went to Thailand. You were with me. We brought, and you asked as well. We had to agree to have a th another threesome. A Thai man You're acting like I wait, made you. A just, Thai man you have came, been talking this whole video. A Thai man came into our Airbnb. He came in. He saw us. And he called us fat. And he walked out of the room. I was, and he was literally 60. First of all, I was not involved. No, you were there. I, that was for you. That wasn't for me. That and, was for you. That was for you. You wanted a threesome, and you no, wanted to watch. No, I did not. No, I did not. No, because we just had two other threesomes. If you're talking about the Chanterbury thing, that was not, no. He literally walked out. Yes, because I didn't see him. You were there. You no, know, I was on the bed. You were there jacking he walked, out. Pat, that's not true. And you're like, well, I'm just going to get affection if you're not going to give it to me. I'm like, fine, go ahead. And I remember I was on the bed, not paying attention. And you're like, okay, he's coming. He's here. I'm like, okay. He opened the door, he comes in, he's like, Well, you fat, I wanted skinny boy, you fat. No, 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 you fat. And like, what do you expect, you're 60? And he was fat too, by the way. He wasn't no skinny spring chicken. Yeah, but why are you telling everyone that I was somehow involved in that? That was all you're doing for you. Because you wanted to see. No, I did not. I never wanted anything there. We literally had two threesomes, like a week before. One of them, one of the guys put it in you and it came out smelling like durian. We are eating. The other guy, we met in an elevator and also said it smelled like durian. What am I supposed to say? I do mukbangs. I don't even know what I'm supposed to say that. Oh yeah, you ate, like, what did you eat before, squid or something too that day? You had like a squid buffet? I don't know. Anyways, you guys, I hope you're doing well. I'm so sorry. Oh, you ate water bug that day. This horrible intro. And crickets. <laughs> Me yeah, so one. I sh out crickets on his Basically. 
Hi, Thai boy. I don't know you want to f me. Let me just poop out some grasshoppers for you. No. On a scorpion pill. I hate listening to you eat. I hate listening to you fart. Well, even Stevens. <laughs> Oh my chicken. Remember that time you ran away from me with my passport and all my money? Why do you have to talk about like this? When you had your hypoglycemia attack and you screamed right next to like two families. I'm hungry! And he just ran away with my passport and my money and he just left me stranded in a mall in Bangkok, Thailand. I'm right? I didn't speak any Thai. I'm sorry, that was, that, that's where I messed up. <clears throat> Yeah, and he he ran very fast for being 200, what was you, 220 pounds back then? I don't know. He ran really it fast. Was a, it, it, was, it looked it like was, a ham beating rhino. Hypo, it was hypoglycemia. I know, I, I actually feel very guilty about that one. I know, I wonder what the family thought of me, like this damn tourist. I literally was like, I'm hungry! They have no reaction. At the top of, yeah, they need to react, they're like, same. Me too. <laughs> they, they didn't even react. They were just like... <laughs> they, they didn't even... You know, like, in any other country, I just feel like... Well, I don't know. I shouldn't say that. Maybe people are more reserved in other places, too. But, yeah, I was... Literally, you know you know when I get my fits, right? I screamed at the top of my lungs in the middle of this outdoor mall area. I was like, I'm hungry! As loud as I could. Because my, my blood sugar was dropping so bad. I was getting really, really, really sick. And I was having like a fight or flight attack. And yeah, there were all these like families and kids and they all just like, were like, nothing, no peep, nothing like, <gasps> we're like, huh? Like, no, no reaction, no emotion. I don't know what, I was like, what? <laughs> they were probably thinking lots of bad things about me in their head. Like this American Taurus, I give Americans a bad name. I've seen that in the comments before. I hate listening to you eat. I'm sorry. It's very annoying. Even when, you know. I'm Sometimes I can hear your stomach growling from when I'm no, sitting can't. far away. No, you can't. You yeah, know, I you're, can. you're just making up stories now. No. You can hear it growling. It's very strong. And also, that is not true. every shirt you wear is a belly button shirt, and I have to see that all day long. It Smell my fart, you. I do it all the time. All the time, every day, every our the scent of our house instead of flowers is farts. I'm not true. I have how many airwicks? Two in this room. Yeah, why do you two. think you have so many? Because it smells good. Like farts. No. The whole house smells like farts. All the furniture smells like farts. Well great. Now whenever I have anyone come hang out with us. Okay, I have two airwicks in this room. One there, one there. I have one in the bathroom. He literally has one right, be right behind kitchen. his butt. <laughs> no, no, show them. Pull it out. <laughs> right here. Don't bend the chair. We literally keep one right behind his butt. Oh my god, you're getting big. Well, I get big because you make me. How do you feel being this big? Fat. I feel like I need to shower twice a day. Yeah, I know, me too. Like all the crevices get so smelly. Oh, I'm eating! Your crevices are really smelly. Especially this line right here. You see that line? That Ew! Orlin, why is this touching your shoes? They smell. They smell like B.O. <laughs> That's disgusting. And everyone just lost their app. It, five people just puked and I just lost a thousand subscribers. So they probably thought I smelled great in my crevices. Now thanks to you. Like, we both look like we smell. I look like I smell very clean and proper. Well, at that time, you passed out and threw up twice in a row, and I had to clean it, and you didn't even thank me. Where? When you were doing you now, and you got so drunk. Oh, Columbia. 
Yeah, you got to sell drunk. No, I mean all this time, all this time, all this time. It's just like story time. We're supposed to be doing Q and A. Go get the get the cues. Well, I eat them. Anything else you want to get off your chest? There's a lot. I just can't think of it right now. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Now's your time. Okay. Um, this comes from um, Hakuna Mata. Ma ma Do y'all miss being vegan? <clears throat> yes. No. But if you're also happy, when's the Orlando going to move out? Hi, Alicia. We're, so, just, we're just talking about that. Very soon. I'm just going very sweet to everyone. <laughs> These are mean comments. Why don't you lose weight already? This, this goes to Orlin. This comes from Sakura. Because I eat this stuff. No, okay, Orlin. You film mukbangs about one week out of every four or five weeks. Look at his channel. How often does he cloud with me? It's very rare for him to eat like this. How about slow metabolism? Okay, the rest of the time he's eating fruits and vegetables. Literally, that's it. And some, some grains, um, some uh, tubers, you know, potatoes. That's a vegetable, I guess. Maybe a little uh, plant oil, like a healthy oil, like olive oil. He eats pretty, like, wholesome. But he's fat. So, how close is Orlin actually from leaving Nick? This comes from Leona. Very close. Like I'm already there. What? Nothing. <laughs> Some of these are really mean. Oh my god. Remember that time he cheated on me in that little field trip at that vegan gym? I don't think about it. Why do you think about it? That was the first time you ever cheated on me. I think. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> you never forget your first. funny. I don't know. I'm just coping right now. I'm just laughing to cope. <laughs> I'm still coping after all these years. Really? I've probably been cheated on. Let's see. Can we count? Let's do a countdown. Don't look at me. Okay, so let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, um, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, 1920 <laughs> 20 21 22 <laughs> Where are these numbers coming from? <clears throat> Why do you think about this so much? Gee, I don't know. <laughs> it's been years. How many times have you been cheated on? <clears throat> A bunch from all my exes, every single one of them. Every single one of them just happens. It's life. I don't think about it. I don't think about it. I don't try to remember it. I don't bring it up every year, every time, every month. I'm sorry. You I bring, bring it up when I've been cheated on close to it, 30 times. <clears throat> you probably bring it more up than 30. Literally every month, at least once a month, you bring this up. You do it probably once a month. No, I. I have not done anything like that for years. Everything you're referring to happened from two years ago, and except you literally the five guys in New York. with an Uber driver like three months ago. Besides him, oh, I forgot about him. <laughs> and you sent me a video of it. 
Well, you said, well, you didn't ask. Close you your didn't, legs. You didn't ask permission for that one. That was a surprise. Well, it was a surprise to me, too. I didn't see that coming. You sent it right around the time of my birthday, I think, so. Sorry, it's just my nervous laugh. <laughs> Everything's so funny. It's my I don't even know what to say right now. It's okay, I cope with laughter too. Good, let's just laugh. Just start laughing. What's next? Why does Orlin feel so hurt by Nick? I don't know. I've been cheated on close to 30 times, probably over 30 times. I've told you every single one. I've never kept I've gotten STDs. I've never. The one, um, I got it too. <laughs> that yeah, was like four years ago. And then you shared with me because sharing is caring. That right? was like four years ago, Orlin. I don't know if you've given me something recently. I mean, I do always get weird colds after you come back from your travels. Are you crying? Why are you crying? Are you crying about the gonorrhea you gave me? No. Then what are you crying about? I don't know. Are you crying about how happy our marriage is? All those tears of joy? Yes, I'm so happy. Happy marriage. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> What's Orlin's worst memory of Nick? You guys, these are awful questions. Hmm. <laughs> mm. I hate hearing you chew. Coming home from working all day and then having you tell me after you come back from your little field trip at the gym that you just cheated on me. That was fun. When I was working all day and I can't- Can you close your legs? They can't close. The, the way it's like this. fat, there's like a bubble Go of like fat this. on my thigh. Go like this. It doesn't work, they see they don't touch. They don't touch because I'm so fat. They used to touch. <sighs> that they, now they don't touch. Well, they do touch, but it's like the fat it just prevents them from touching all the way. It's just like a lump of fat that touches, but the rest doesn't. I think that happens to you too, though. Okay. Um. Oh, the, one of the other bad moments is when we had to leave everything behind that we loved and owned in Colombia to come here. Because you got deported. That wasn't my fault. Yeah, but it was a bad moment. Why, would you rather live in Colombia? Seems like it. I think so. Talk about it a lot. <clears throat> That's also <clears throat> one of the reasons why we're not getting along very well is because he wants to live in Colombia. I don't. Well, you can't. But even that doesn't mean I want to be with you. I want to be there alone now. But even... I don't want to hear you eat. But even if I could be there... I don't speak Spanish. I'm not gonna speak Spanish. I have a very hard time at learning You're stuff. You're too lazy to learn. No. Well, whatever the case is, I'm not gonna learn it. I, my defense, I'm not that smart. It's very hard for me to learn new languages. And, uh, yeah, it was nice. Yeah, it was pretty. Yeah, it was affordable. But... I was mute there. And not mute enough to arrange hookups. He literally would go on Google Translate and send messages to people on Grindr. All the time. Because I was just bored. Well, not bored, but I was just exploring. But you were married. Well, maybe you don't give me what I want. What do you want? STDs? I don't know. 
What do you want? I don't know. Maybe, maybe you don't please me good. Like you don't please me at all? Yeah, exactly like that. He does. He, this guy literally just wants and wants and wants, but he doesn't give back. Well, we're not compatible in that way then. Yeah, we definitely are not. And he likes to cheat, but he doesn't like to get cheated on. It makes him very upset. Yeah, I just want to be my single self. So then to me, it's just living. And it's not cheating. It's just living. But then why do you get bothered when I do it? I don't know. I don't know why. Do you think you're good at I don't know. I can't bottom for you anymore because your is so fat now. He literally gains fat in like in and around his It's gotten so thick. It's like sitting on on a PVC pipe. Not that thick. <clears throat> I didn't sign up for that. I don't know. Do you think you're? No, I'm fat, obese, and gross. I don't think I'm. Do you think you're? No. Okay. Then we're both not. Yet you still manage to find people to hook up with all the time. I still don't know why you're saying all this. I haven't done anything with anyone. Let's for keep years. answering some more for of our years, lovely questions. For years, it's been years. The Uber driver, except for the Uber driver. Then you, then you get by this guy, and the condom broke open, and you're. Yeah. Oh, that was in Los, Los Angeles. That was nice. <laughs> I, I wasn't even planning on bottoming. He just really wanted to, and I was like, okay. Did you get tested? No. Why? Because I'm scared of needles. What about that test that doesn't need needles? I don't know. I just don't think about it. <laughs> <laughs> mm, I'm fine. Why don't you get tested? You can tell me if I'm positive or not. <laughs> we're too poor. Uh, we're too poor to afford that. No, we're I don't not. Have, I don't have insurance. You don't need insurance to get a test. The STD test. You can walk in anywhere and get them for forty dollars. Every every in the U.S. Plant Parenthood. Yes. Why don't you do it? I, I. You know the reason. I'll pass out, get sick, and I could die. Why don't you do it? It's very one? extreme for me. Because the one that you're referring to isn't as exact, and it doesn't test for everything at once. You should do that and tell me. Please. What, so you feel safe to get bread? No, I don't do... Orlin, that was not part of the... It, it ripped. It ripped. It ripped. It popped at the end. It's not like I went in there saying... It's not like I even planned it. It actually just kind of just happened. We were in the moment, and I told him, like, you better put something on that, or I'm not interested. Why well, I didn't say it like that. I probably said it in a very attractive way. That's pretty unattractive. You better put something on. But, you know, I did it. I did it, and he did it, and then towards the end, he's like, oh, shoot, my common broke. And I was like, oh. Nice, thanks. Well, then, if you're so concerned about why you got tested this whole time, I was like. Are you going to pay for it? It's $40, yes. I haven't thought about it this whole time. You just brought it up. I forgot. I look really pale. It's from lying too much. What have I lied about right now? 
This is just exposing me. <laughs> make me just ruin my channel. <laughs> I didn't want to make this. Cancel me some more. Let's see how many videos we can get this week. <laughs> oh, all those pathetic drama channels, parasitic drama channels, just making videos about you and then calling you irrelevant. Uh, I know, that's so funny. So but then they all depend on you. <laughs> they depend on everyone else but themselves. It's like <laughs> parasites, like, like fleas. Oh my god. Get a topic about... Oh, I got a cameo review, five stars. It says, oh, yay, five stars. Cameo, book me. My birthday's in four days. I don't plan on getting anything for my birthday. I've been very bad this year. So if you guys want to support me and my channel, especially after the video like this, go ahead and book me on Cameo, like down below. <laughs> I'll make a video for you. This girl, they loved it. They're like, thank you so much. Um, I put my heart and soul into it. I really do. You have one of those? I did. Your heart's probably like a candle now. I do miss my soul. I had a soul. Yep. You did? Definitely past, past tense, yeah. You had a soul. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I I was very Why are you crying? Spiritual because I miss having a soul. Get it back. You know how to get it back. No, I know. I miss when you were nice, when we got used to get along. When you were loving, when you were sweet, a good person. I am good. No, now you're just Angry, fat, whiny, complaining. So you don't like how I look? Are you attracted to me? Yes or no? No. Yeah. You're not attracted to me either. Yeah, I am. I like big boys. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. What's 90% of what I look at? Big boys. Skinny boys. What? <laughs> Skinny boys? That's so not true. If, if they're skinny, it's because I like their They just happen to be skinny. It's most, it, body-wise, it's bigger boys, you know that. Why are you saying I like skinny boys? Okay. Why, why are you saying that? Why? Because most of the photos on your phone are skinny men. Well, great. Everyone just hates me. You hate me. All my viewers hate me. The whole internet hates me. I'm canceled over top of canceled over top of canceled over top of can. I just, I am just nobody. I have no one. I have no soul. I'm a cheater. I'm a liar. I'm fat. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm fat. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why you're fat either. And I wish people would like me. I really do. But they don't. I, w I want to be liked. I want people to be like, oh, I enjoy his videos. I enjoy his company. Oh, he's nice. Oh, he puts a smile on my face. Oh, he brightens my day. Oh, he's how I like to spend my time. Off work, off school. No, I never get anything like that. I mean, maybe some people. The only people that like you and enjoy you are the drama channels that make money off of you. That's about it. I mean, there are people, I, my cameos, um, I get like, well, now it's been a lot more because I've been pushing it. I think last year I had like 50 in total for the whole year. 
Um, now it's been like 50 for the past couple months just because I've been pushing. I say it all the time. So I know there are some people out there. Um, that like me or think I'm attractive. But um, I guess it just, it's sad to know that the person I'm with doesn't think that. You get mad at me for snoring. You get mad at me because my fingers curl up. Apparently you don't like that, that they curl up. No, I don't. What else do you get? Oh, he gets mad at me because my teeth are too big. And when I'm sucking his it makes his hurt apparently. What do you mean apparently? Of course it does. Maybe because I have big teeth. And I have a big We're just not compatible. It's anatomically, we're not compatible. <sighs> All right, let's keep answering questions. I'm tired of it. It's just... How stable is your relationship? Like zero percent? No. A zero. What, ten? I'd say fifty-fifty, not ten. Ten would imply that ninety percent of the time it's unstable. Why would you say it's ninety percent of the time unstable? Because it is. We fight every day. You always trying to find somebody to cheat on me with. Would That's not true. What, we don't fight every day? No, not every day. How often? I mean, some days, yeah, it's like every hour. Yeah. Is that very stable? <sighs> no. Then just leave me. I will. What's the next question? Do you like the smell in my fart? No, I'm just trapped in the room and it smells like farts and flowers. And chicken? And fried chicken. Your favorite. I love eating chickens. Makes you think of Mr. Noodle? Yeah, but maybe Mr. Noodle. What's the next question? Does Orlin even love you? No. You don't love me? No. Yeah, you do. I don't like this neck. I don't love this neck. I love the old neck, but he's dead. He died. You're just an empty shell. You're hollow. How am I an empty shell if I'm sitting here crying? I don't know. So you don't love me? Nope. You're not the person I fell in love with. You're not the nice little innocent guy. You're just not the same person. You're just mean now. Mean, angry. It's the food. You, you don't know stop that. eating it. But that's what people want me to do. The fast food gets to my brain. The more junk I eat, the crazier I get. The more fried food I eat, the more unstable I get. I'm not saying everyone that eats like me is unstable and manic, but everyone's affected by food differently. Some people get acne and stay skinny. Some people get acne and get fat. Some people get diabetes in the first couple months. Some people, they look normal and healthy, but mentally they're struggling. Some people, you know, like, food affects people differently. For me, my mental health and the way I act and my behavior is altered when I eat bad food. And by bad, I mean 
anything other than fruits, vegetables, and um, like like unprocessed meat. <sighs> and that's what my channel's all about. Anyways, but you don't love me? No. There's nothing to love. You're empty. You're an empty shell. You're always angry. No matter how nice I try to be to you, no matter how much I try to love you, you just reject all of it. Because it's my bipolar, it's my alter ego, it's my, it's my other part. It's not really me. You don't love me? No. Not this you. Then why are you here? I don't know. Why? I don't know. Why? I don't know. Like somebody that's terminally ill, unable to take care of themselves. It's like you need help. It's like leaving somebody very elderly alone. So that's how you want to spend the best years of your life. I feel pity. You're, you're I feel pity for you. You can't do anything on your own. Oh. So you're going to spend the best years of your life, your 20s, your early 20s, the best years when you're supposed to be, out there going to clubs, going to parties. With an adult baby, yes. You can't take care of Is that, yourself. but, well, is that how you want to live your life? You can't even drive a car. Yes, I, I can drive. But that's how you want to live your life. You can't even walk through Walmart. If I have hyperglycemia, no, but if I... Like, you have to use a mobility scooter now. Shh, don't tell people that. Because you couldn't walk to the Alfredo aisle. Shh. Orlin, you it's don't love me. It's true that you filled up the mobility cart with like 20 Alfredo. You can only fly first class now because you don't fit in regular. This is this is turned into a roast. Everything. It's true though. So th that's why you don't love me because I, I don't fit in the economy seats. Remember when I was? <laughs> remember when I was mad at you because you're spending all our money on your travels in first class because you don't fit in economy. I know four thousand dollars, dude. Four thousand dollars. <laughs> Because he doesn't fit an economy. <coughs> we went to Hawaii. We spent like 10000 or something dollars on traveling to Hawaii because he doesn't fit an economy. Well, that's why I'm always crying help me. I need money because we've spent so much of it on the food, on the travels. He can't travel normal. He can't. It has to be for... He doesn't fit an economy. The seatbelt doesn't close all the way. It's, it's bad. It's really embarrassing, actually. And that's crazy, because to me, I feel like, yes, I'm overweight, yes, we got water weight, but I'm not, like, that big. I'm not, like, I don't look morbid, even though, I'm, even though technically I am morbid, based on the BMI, I am morbid. I just look like a chunky guy, you know. Since I, I think most of your weight's water, I think you're bigger than average. Look at my feet. Is that high blood pressure? That's edema. Look, right here. What, what is that? That's edema, probably. Like his his feet look like Swelling. like the Michelin man. What the? F oh, I haven't done the treadmill for a couple of days. Yeah, I know. It's just sitting there. Can't you close your it. legs. It's, I can't close them. They don't touch. Try. Oh, why are my f my feet feel like they're about to pop? Isn't that a sign of a heart attack? Shh! Don't scare me like that. No, it's not. Okay. Well, I have a husband who doesn't love me. Um. But he still, um, still lives here. I love you. Not the way you treat me. Mr. Nurse. I literally have to rub your back before bed. Not every time. Why are you? Why did you decide to spend this whole video going down every little thing you don't like about me? When I told you, let's do a Q and A. Oh, he says, answer the questions. He says he doesn't like to. See, he doesn't like to see me okay, lounging. She just keeps going. I can't close them. They don't. They don't close them too fast. 
Well, I don't know what to say now. Yeah, I'm not allowed to watch. I haven't had a day off in f like what, four years, five years? That's not true. You When's the last time I had a day off? Pro when? I, when I was at my parents' house. <laughs> what was I doing when you were at your parents' house? Finding an apartment. So what, did I have a day off? Well, that wasn't like, I mean, yes, it's hard work, but it wasn't like work. It wasn't like- Who had to move everything? Been... Okay, you moved everything. Did I have a day off? Did we hire movers? No. Did I have a day off? Technically, you didn't have it that much, though. When was my last time having a day off? Probably Columbia, because I only posted twice a week. And what did you do every time you weren't posting? Who had to cook for you and clean up for you? You know. So have I had a day off? No, oh, you've never had a day off with me, so just leave me. Exactly. Then just leave me. Go have, go have your free time. Go s a bunch of people. Yep. Go go do what you want to do with the Mexicans. I don't know. You know, just leave. You're still here. You complain, but you stay. So that's your fault. I will leave. What are you gonna do about yourself? I don't know. You're gonna have to hire someone to take care of you. No, I'm just gonna quit YouTube. Cause I can't do all this by myself. You need help. It's hard work, just one video takes eight hours from cleaning to setting up the food to importing the media to editing it and watching the whole thing and then rendering the file and uploading it and then making a thumbnail and then promoting it on my Instagram and promoting it on my Twitter and responding to my DMs and one video takes eight hours so yeah no I'll, I'll just you can you can leave me and then I'll quit YouTube how about that so difficult because I feel like I need help too because I'm so obese now there's like, Let's there's stop some, eating. But how do I have energy to keep up with everything I have to just do? Just starve. I have to do so much. Just don't do anything. Just stop. You're done. If I don't do anything, You're everything's done. gonna fall apart. Good. Let them. Let them. Everyone already hates me. No one even likes me. Let, let it all fall apart. My whole life's falling apart. My whole life is falling apart. Who cares? Let it fall apart. Let it come troubling down. Crumbling down. Disaster. Still, just watch the disaster. Just watch it. Like, you can't even clean your the toilet. You can't even put toilet paper. You can't even put a toilet paper roll in the bathroom. This, again, it turned into, let's just find every little thing we don't like about Nick and sit here on camera. No, like, you're completely helpless. I can't believe you even brought that up. <laughs> you're completely helpless. He's completely helpless. We went to a friend's farm to pick citrus. He was just standing there wearing his big red shirt looking like a tomato in the sun. 